look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to use as a talking point today is my most humble opinion. I believe that modern women, black women in particular, are just perverts now. Their mindsets is disgusting, in my humble opinion, and this is not to be disrespectful. I am providing an educational video, a documentary of how women are behaving in the gym where men go to work out at. Women these days are purposely going in there to get attention, recording people, innocent bystanders in the back of their videos so they can go viral by saying that if a man looks at them or walk by them, that he's being a creep, that he's being a, a mannish pervert, okay? So we're gonna cover this. I have different ethnic groups of women in this video. The first one I'm gonna play for you, ladies and gentlemen, is a white lady who decides to come to the gym unclothed she has absolutely no clothing on. What she does is paint her body. You ever see those people who paint themselves, paint a shirt across their breasts and their and pants on their body? It's paint, but it's not clothing, but they make it where it look like it's paint. Well, she goes to a gym like that and someone calls her out. Let me go ahead and play it for you. Let me get let me stop talking. I just want you to hear what I had to say right then. One second. Go closer. He's saying you need to leave. He's not a See what she has on right there, ladies and gentlemen, is not clothing. And that gentleman that's calling her out, that buff guy, the white gentleman, he says he's worked in the entertainment industry to know when he sees that. She actually painted her body. Those are not clothing. Even when they're going to do a close-up to her breast, her chest, you'll be able to see that it's been drawn on. So she thought it would be cute to come to the gym butt naked. With her, her jacket is real, but she is butt naked. That means there's no thong on, there's no G-string on, there's no bra on. All she did was painted her body thinking she can go make a video. Okay? So let's go ahead and play it. No, no, what's your I mean, she's covered. So. Yeah, she's covered. She's yeah. covered. Do you see? I'm going to back it up. She's covered. See, that's another pervert that's with this pervert. Look at her body. Look at it closely, gentlemen. Look at where her brow's supposed to be at. Her top. Look at her, her body. You can tell that that isn't real clothing. Okay? She painted that on her body. Let's keep going. I work in the industry enough to know. He's saying you need to leave. He's not okay. I mean, she's covered. So. Yeah, she's covered. She's covered by body paint. She's not covered by clothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a horrible situation. Men can't go to the gym without being sexually harassed. Now, let's play role reversal. If that would have been a man, it says me, the gentleman who went rogue. Let's say I decided to get completely naked, go to a gym, take some duct tape to tape my inches down on my thigh so it won't be flapping when I'm walking. Then I paint my body. I paint my legs, my nether region, my region where my sack and everything at blue like a pair of pants and walk in the gym and approach women. See if I do not go to jail. How quickly it wouldn't take them. But it's okay for a woman to do it. A woman can get away with this type of perversion. A lot of you women do not want to call it for what it is. A lot of you women are just perverts. Sexual deviants. Deviants. You are people who are quick to cry out assault against you. But at the same time, you are assaulting the men. Now, I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to show you how this black lady do in the gym. Now, you tell me what she's training for. Now, you tell me. Now, there's some gentlemen in the back looking at her. 
Why wouldn't a man look at her if you jiggling your ass? This is women who are, they are setting up tripods to record videos to try to go viral. You know what I mean? They want to try to catch people looking at them so they can say, oh, that man is a creep. He tried to, you know, be mannish and approach me in a very disrespectful manner. He talked to me lustfully, lustfully. He had a mindset full of lasciviousness. He just came at to me. That's what they want you to look like now. So gentlemen are not going to the gym. A lot of gyms are losing business because of the fact that women are becoming perverts. So most men are opting to get home gym equipment. They would rather work in the garage at home and work out with their homies at the house in the garages because they don't want to get in any type of viral video that shows them in a negative light. Now let's keep playing what this black lady is doing. Now, I think I made my point with that one. Now, it's going to get really even crazier. <laughs> These women today are harassing blind men in the gym. Now, it's not uncommon to go to the gym and see somebody with a disabled thing. They're disabled. It could be bad hearing. I know people who have bad knees and stuff or just one arm and still going to the gym. You know what I mean? For some type of physical therapy type of thing. This is going to be a white gentleman who is blind. And women are going to harass him and try to claim that he's staring at them. He's blind because they want to make a video. He's blind. So let me play this video for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. One second as I pull it up for you on the screen because this is totally ridiculous. There it is. I'm blind. If you know what those two words mean, you are much smarter than the girl who was screaming at me at the gym. This, and see what you'll never have again! I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this wound's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at! For this. I didn't come here to be stared at! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. A response? I don't care. Stop staring at me. She told a blind man to stop staring at her as if he can see what the fuck he's looking at. Women, new drug of choice is attention. They got to go viral. A lot of these women are not as hot as they would like to believe that they are. They want to come across as a victim in every situation. These women are invading spaces that were designed for men why are you women not going to women's only gyms stay out our gyms i'm gonna tell you one of the reasons why they're not going there because they're having problems with women in their own women's only gym you got women who like women who are also harassing women in the gym and plus some women will not go to a women's only gym because they are not getting the type of attention that they want a lot of the attention that they want is the attention that comes from men Huh? Take this to your grave. What? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts. Let's go to. I want y'all to see that he ain't lying. This is his ID card, saying that he is a blind man. He got that from the Commission for the Blind. ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind, and explained to this guy as well. I'm blind. I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> man, 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 man. How does he know he's looking at somebody when he's blind? Now, I'm going to show you some more women who dress this ridiculously. There used to be a time when women come to the gym that had some type of gym etiquette when it comes to their clothing. But women are purposely dressing up, you know, where their print is showing, where they look almost naked 
They even choose leggings and things like that that blend so closely to their skin color that it appears that they have absolutely nothing on. Gyms are closing down. Look it up on Google. Not the big gyms. Not like the Planet Fitness and stuff you can think of that are huge gyms. I'm talking about the gyms that are medium in size or small business owners who own small gyms who are trying to be successful in this business. They are losing clients. They are being hit with lawsuits. They are running men off because men are being told that they are harassing them. This has got to stop. Hold on. Let me show you this right quick. I'm going to show you this. Here it is. Let's get started. You see this practice right here? It is about to go extinct. Now this will be the new norm. Experience and failure on a set is normal, but you have deemed all men. As you can see, this woman got stuck lifting weights. You know how you can try to bench press and you bench press the weight and you put too much weight on and you can't push it back up. You need somebody to spot you to help you get that back on the rack. This is happening in the gyms. Women are putting too much weight on whatever it is they're doing and they're getting stuck. Just like with the man who's bench pressing and can't push that um, pole back up onto the rack. He needs someone to help him push it up. So now men are seeing women in distress in the gyms and they are refusing to even help them because they don't want to be a victim of the women. All men in the gym creeps. So who will be there to save you when this day comes? Should a man risk being labeled a creep? to save you from being crushed by a weight. This is a cry to all the gym girlies out there. Y'all gotta stop overreacting. Most of the gym guys out there either don't care about you or care about you from a health and safety standpoint. They are not toxic men. And y'all need to stop pushing that agenda onto them. Like this is supposed to be a community. We're supposed to help each other out. If you have your camera up looking for the- Now are you looking at how these women are dressed in the gym? You know this is inappropriate. I'm going to back it up. I want you to see how these women are dressing in the gym. The same women who say men are looking at me and claim that they don't understand why gentlemen are looking at you. Men are visual creatures by creation, by birth. We can't help it. Even if we are faithful men, if a good looking woman walk by half naked, we can't damn near control ourselves. We are going to look. We're not going to try to stare at you like, oh, I'm going to follow you home and take what I want. We're not doing that. But if you are attractive, we are just drawn to that. Let me sh look at this again. And y'all need to stop pushing that agenda onto them. Look at that. Look how that woman is bent over. Look how that woman is dressed. Okay. And I guarantee you when she stands completely straight up, because that is so tight that you can see her vagina print in the gym. And it's sad because sometimes parents and people bring their children to the gym. I'm not talking about teenagers who work in the gym. I'm talking about the father or the mother who brings their child to the gym and they have a little daycare area for the kids or have a little part of the gym where the kids can be at while mama or daddy is working out. Now the children, the innocents, the infants or whatever, they get to see a stranger's vagina print and get to see her nipples and get to see the um piercings in her nipples because she is damn near naked in the gym. There needs to be rules. There needs to be better gym etiquette. Okay, and as a business owner, I'll be on some shit like this. As a business, there will be a dress code. People will say that's wrong. I don't think so because if you just let people dress how they want to dress and you're running people off, then your business is losing money. You could be losing thousands of dollars just to keep the gym membership of a few people that is only bringing you a thousand when you're losing five or six thousand a month over that one thousand. No, that's not, they don't make no good sense. Let's keep going. Like this is supposed to be a community. We're supposed to help each other out. If you have your camera up looking for the one guy in the background who may or may not glance over for a second, like, girl, you're the toxic person in that. Stop. <laughs> because it's getting to the point where we're the problem. You are the problem. You are the weakest link. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a woman who gets stuck with the weight, like I was telling you before, who put too much weight on the bar. And she tried to think a squat or whatever, and she can't get back up. And people are looking at her. Men are looking at her. But men are not taking these risks anymore because they don't want to be embarrassed and lied upon. Let me show it to you. Let's play. She's lifting. I thought she was naked, by the way. It apparently does the color of her leggings. It is exactly. They are dressed looking like they are naked. 
the way. It apparently does the color pro leggings. It is what it is. Ooh. Oh. Girlfriend got stuck. Bail out. Just, just bail. She got stuck. She didn't want to throw it. So now she's trying to get guys to come over and help her to lift that thing off her back. <laughs> right now this goes on. Look, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just she's bail. Just, there. just, just throw bail it out. Right now. Just throw it. She was afraid to do that. And I'm not going to lie. I might be afraid to do it too because a lot of weight. And I'd be like, shit, is this yeah. thing going to hit me in the behind? What's yeah. going to go on? She stays there. She stays there. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, you can't stay there all day, girlfriend. Stays there. It's too much, right? You know what this? <laughs> Does anyone actually help her? Oh, yeah. You know who helps her? A, a female. Uh, a she, female comes she over. Her, you? Yeah, so a girl. Yeah, a female helped you. Don't think that no man saw her because she was calling out for help. She was saying, sir, hello, help, hello, help. She was saying that out loud, vocally expressing herself. She was in this, she was in distress. Men was walking by, looking at her. But the thing is, she had a camera running, a tripod. This recording shit in the gym has to stop. Okay? If you want to record yourself working out, lady, you need to do it someplace else. In a woman's gym or in your garage where your own home gym is. Because your recording to go viral to make TikTok videos is messing up men who are really trying to work out, who's trying to relieve some stress by lifting weights. Now, they stressed out at work and want to relieve some pressure. Now they got to be worried about women at the gym with more stress and pressure. Let's keep going. Uh, a she, female comes she over. Her, yeah. yeah, so a girl, ultimately what happens is, if you scroll through, I don't know, Della, if you want to scroll through, but ultimately what happens is a girl comes over. <laughs> She yeah, said yeah, that for like go. a minute. Lifts it <laughs> off her back. She's like, hey, hey, hey. Now, granted, guys have earbuds, but you will see that the girl comes over and helps her. First of all, girlfriend, why are you lifting all that weight? That's too much weight for you. You need to know your limits. That's number one. But here's the thing that struck me is this, because we've been seeing all these images of girls in the gym where, you know, half naked, booby out, booty out. And then a guy like has the nerve to look her way. And it's like, oh, my God, he makes me feel so unsafe, all that stuff. But now you have a dynamic where this instance, you have women in the gym, and I guarantee you there are guys that saw what was going on and were like, I'm staying out of this. I don't want to be in some video. I'm not getting involved. Yeah, I don't want to be- the trap up with the phone recording. I don't want to be accused of what I'm doing, that I'm approaching her, all that. And this is what I say about like feminism wrecking men, because your natural instinct as a man would just be like, let me go over and help this woman, yeah. right? Normal. Think about what she said. Feminism wrecking men. It is preventing men from doing what is in their innate nature, which is to protect a weaker vessel, which is the woman. We see a woman who is in distress, a damsel in distress, so to speak. And it's our nature to want to protect. You get what I'm saying? But because of the things that you're doing, we have to withhold our ability to protect you in fear of being embarrassed. Now, I want you to understand something. Some of these gentlemen who go to gyms are men who are high rollers, some of them have jobs that they can't afford to get a bad reputation on. You know what I'm saying? There's some jobs they can't afford to be all over the internet blasted as a creep or some kind of pervert because it would affect their business. So men are choosing their livelihoods over you. And I can't blame them because today's modern day women, black women in particular, white women in particular, all ethnic Groups of women nowadays, in my most humble opinion, has morphed into ultra hypersexual perverts, especially black women, in my humble opinion. They love to be what is called a exhibitionist. They want to show everything, almost like a voyeur who watches them do whatever act it is. They want to be seen. OK, let's keep going. Like back in my dad's day, you wouldn't even think about that. He would have gone over. He would have been like, oh, you got to be careful, honey. Don't lift stuff that's so heavy. Let me help you out. You got to be afraid to do everything now. And I think that's why when people say the death of gentlemen and all this, women complain. I saw a video of a very prominent female figure being like, oh, all the good men are gone. All the good men. It's like, well, you, you killed them. You killed whatever was inside of them that would have made them actually act like men. Guys are afraid to be men. Yeah. Feminism has disincentivized men from being gentlemen. I agree. Now, what I'm going to play is a Jewish gentleman by the name of Ben Sharpo, if I'm saying his name right. I like this guy. Uh, I just like him. I like him. But he's going to make some good points and stuff. I'm going to play this to be the last. 
the here we go i've seen a tiktok storm of viral videos about women complaining about men looking at them at the gym this apparently is like a thing women claim to be it used to be that, that in order to be victimized in american society you actually had to be a victim now you're a victim if you go to the gym dressed in booty shorts and a bra and men and that's exactly what it is booty shorts damn there say daisy dukes if y'all younger generation don't know what daisy dukes is way back in the day it's like um it was um daisy duke he had a dukes of hazard there's a white lady who's wearing these real short skimpy shorts she had no ass i don't know why they use it as an example but she had very she had no ass at all but it's called daisy dukes because she used to wear that okay and it's just really short 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 shorts that people are wearing that's all it is so you're going in with booty shorts and a bra and you expect men who have hormones men who are heterosexual who are attracted to women not to look at you you go to the gym dressed in booty shorts and a bra and men give you sideways glances that apparently is like the height of victimhood i agree that women are victimized if some guy puts his hands on them when they don't want to have their hands put on them obviously i will agree that women are victimized if men without regard for the woman just stare at them i just stare for prolonged periods of time but that's not what we're talking about here. What we are talking about is attractive women on TikTok who are seeking attention, which is why they are on TikTok, filling themselves at the gym, wearing extraordinarily tight clothing and bare midriff. And then they are surprised that men are looking at them occasionally. <clears throat> yeah, these women are some damn fools, man. Like I say, like I say, man, these damn fool women, these bitches done lost their motherfucking mind, bro. People are losing their livelihoods. People are losing the money that they invested in their own business. Sole proprietorships. Because women don't know how to carry themselves like lady in any environment, not just the gym. But we're focusing on the gym today. You really think it's okay to look like a hoe wherever you go in 2024.